All right, babies. It's that time again. Oh yeah. The house sparrows are making their obnoxious noise. <laughs> Poor birds. They have nothing good to sing. Well, it's good, but it's just not very interesting. <laughs> All right, I was going to jump into, I think I'm in 1 Corinthians right now, but didn't have time. It's a different kind of a day. I've got to visit family and my schedule is off. accidentally took too much <laughs> too many caffeine pills uh, so I will be not falling asleep at the gym today let's put it that way um, oh one thing I was gonna tell you um, a couple nights ago the Lord really impressed upon me his comfort and peace in a really strong way um, and it was also aligned with the seriousness of our calling so serious that marked by death and what I was praying about was the martyrdom of those who've gone before us as well as those today this very moment People are losing their lives simply because they're Christians. And we don't really hear much about that, do we? So that was, it's always been something that I pray about and to be sensitive to and to believe for their protection if possible and if not their peace as they make their transition but this time it was just hitting me so like heavy how serious this is and if we are seated with Christ then it should be on our radar constantly which sort of puts everything else into a different scope right so then I was also praying about, you know, people with cancer. Um, and especially children. And... Uh, elderly in retirement homes. Um, 
so I was just thinking about, you know, those that are face to face with death every day, millions of people, and how the body of Christ in general <clears throat> seems oblivious to it. I mean, in some cases you have, you know, people like Bethel Church who are active in their pursuit of being used by God for the purposes of um, bringing miraculous healing to those who need it. Well, I was thinking of some, you know, more along the lines of, you know, the urgency of what is always occurring. And sort of the irresponsibility that just because it's not someone we personally know, we generally just don't give it a thought. And I was wanting to be in a position and to stay in a position to be used of God so that I'm aligned with his heart. So he's clearly touched by these events. And if we're aligned with him as his bride eternally, then we sh should be equally touched. So I don't know what you want to do with that. But for me, it just kind of settles me into a perspective of how our priorities are all messed up. And that I'm grateful that he brought it to my attention in such a powerful way the other night that I can see it changing some of my choices. For instance, I might look into volunteering in retirement homes and try to bring some joy and hope to those who are feeling depressed or in a hospital devoted to children with cancer and being ever mindful of those in oppressive countries where the governments are either allowing or perpetrating murder of Christians. And to look for God to move in us in a way that our faith can make a difference. however that might manifest itself.